here with our Super Bowl winning cornerback, Eric Davis, also a second round pick of the 49ers, the 1990 draft. And in your, what, 13 years, went up against some pretty darn good quarterbacks, right? Yeah. You, you played got a, with a couple of good ones, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, you got an yeah. idea of, of what it takes here. So let's put the two top quarterbacks on Mike Mayock's board under the microscope here for a second. We'll start with the second rated quarterback on his okay. board, and that is the guy who could go number one in Jameis Winston. Uh, what do you like? What do you see on tape from Jameis? Uh, well, you see everything. I mean, you can watch Jameis Winston right here. He was under center, play action, turns his back to it. And he was talking to Mariucci about looking off safeties. And he looked this safety off, saw the man coverage, and hit the deep crosser, stood in the pocket, hit the deep crosser after allowing that safety to bite on the underneath one. Right here, shotgun. He's going to stand back. He's going to go play side to his right. It's not there. His check down is not there. So now he's going to come back side. He's got a, a route running up the seam. And he's got a route on the sideline. Hits him for a nice first down. The guy can, he can look off one side of the field and come back to the other. Here, once again, this right here is just catch and throw, pitch and shoot. You want to play off coverage. This is what you want to see from a quarterback. Get the ball out of his hand, hands into the playmaker's hands, and let them do the dirty work. That's what you want your quarterback to do, not try to make those plays on his own. He understands a lot of different concepts, and he can go under center, turn his back to a defense. A lot of young quarterbacks can't do that, especially in the schemes they play in now. So impressive things about it. Right, for sure. Uh, what what is, most people are saying is the more pro-ready quarterback, right, came from a more pro-style offense. Now yes. let's get to Marcus Mariota, the guy that is now number one on Mike Mayock's list. What do you like? Uh, well, just the athleticism right yeah. here. What, look what happens. Play breaks down, but he's strong enough to break some tackles, make some plays, get down the field. You like to see that because you know that's going to happen here. A quick smoke route at the line of scrimmage. He's going to try to get the defense to bite, and he puts the ball in a position where he gave his receiver an opportunity to make a play. I didn't necessarily like his feet on that one, right. and this is something that you'll see right in here. This should be a wide open pitch and catch. Rhett, you should make this throw, but because his feet weren't there, it was a little off. Uh, and this is something that people talk about with the guy going backside and having to look sometimes, and he he can not have his feet right, as I said, and can throw some interceptions. But now, I, I'm not trying to hate on this guy. We didn't show any bad plays on Jameis Winston. He has some things to learn as well. But as you see, both of these guys, I do believe that they are capable of making plays with their legs, with their arms, and uh, two very, very good prospects. Yeah, whether it's the scheme that designated it or not, you could say that Mariota a bit more judicious with the football than Jameis was with his what, uh, more picks in Jameis' senior season than Marcus had his entire career. Yeah, absolutely. That's, That's it. But, but about. again, also, as, as you said, and when we saw it, didn't show it on, on, the, on one of those plays, but he turns his back, back right. to defense. He does a lot more play action. Those things are going to happen when they start moving, and they're definitely going to happen in the NFL. So we're going to see how both of these guys do here shortly. Edie, good